Hi, uh, so you're thinking of playing airsoft and you've either seen videos on YouTube of you know people showing off their fancy equipment, really nice, realistic guns with all the Magpul Gucci. But the first things you need to be buying if you're going to be taking up airsoft as a hobby are uh, the following things. And I'll go in sort of order of importance, most important first. So to start with, you need to be protecting your eyes. Uh, these are my personal uh, favourite, these are the 3M Peltor Marcus Gronholm safety glasses. They come in uh, a few uh, tints, so you've got clear, there's these ones, I've also got brown ones upstairs. Um, I've been using these for years, excellent uh, metal frames, they'll form to the contour of your face, there's rubber grips on the arms, they don't fall off ever. I use, I use these if I'm on roller coasters. Um, never had a problem. Very comfortable to wear. Hardly any, in my experience, uh, fogging issues compared to other glasses I've used previously. Next item. Good pair of boots. These are the Converse uh, Desert Boots. I bought these about four years ago, I think. Um, they've served me really well. Good ankle support. Um, very comfortable. Tight fitting without being too tight and restrictive. Um, I'll just say this now, airsoft sites almost always um, on rough, rough terrain, in derelict buildings, um, you're going to have piles of rubble, there's going to be you know, um, hidden trip hazards, low walls you're going to have to climb over, fences, uh, maybe holes in walls that you're going to have to climb through. Um, look after your feet, uh, just you know, get a good pair of boots so that's one less worry off your mind. You're not going to have to be extra careful where you're going to be putting your feet. I mean, I advise uh, being careful anyway, but you know, you've got to balance things out. Again, um, more or less the same reason as getting good boots, good pair of gloves, uh, just protect your hands from um, any desirable. Um, elements that might be out there, um, airsoft sites can be in old industrial buildings, uh, so you don't know what sort of chemicals you're going to be um, touching when you move maneuvering around the uh, scenery. Um, also, it protects you from cuts, um, you know, you don't want to be cutting hands on, you know, a piece of glass in an area where you don't know what's being produced there, um, you know, animals could have been there defecating, urinating. Um, so you know, protect your hands. Buy cheap gloves by all means, as long as you know it's a barrier between your skin and the elements. Okay, let's see the next item. People very often wear mesh face masks, either half face masks uh, or full ones, or even neoprene. Uh, just protect their face uh, from visible scarring, depending on what their profession is or to protect their teeth, or maybe they just don't like being shot in the face. Personally, the most I'll ever wear is a Shema, and I'll only put that up over my face if I'm going around the corner to an area where I know there's a lot of action going on. Um, I don't like uh, the restriction, um, it gets in the way if I'm shouldering my weapon, um, but that's my personal choice. Next item is hydration. Take a drink with you. Uh, even on casual skirmish days, you're looking at games um, often running into two, maybe three hours. So that's a long time to be running around in the hot sun, not drinking water. You're going to lose a lot of liquid, especially if you're wearing a lot of gear. Um, you lose track of time and you don't really think to have a drink. So I personally recommend having something on your back, uh, like a camelback or source hydration. Um, this is three liters, by the way. Uh, but you know, even if you have a bottle of mineral water in a mag pouch, as long as it's something, and don't be afraid to put your hand up, tell a marshal you need a drink, and go back to the safe zone. It's very, very important. Uh, it can creep up on you, and things can go south quite fast. You don't want to end the day in a hospital. Okay, um, let's get on to the good stuff. Don't feel you have to spend hundreds and hundreds of pounds um, to get top of the line AEG. This is a G&G combat machine. Uh, they retail for about £140 and in my experience these are incredibly robust, excellent value for money AEGs.
Um, obviously, I've put Magpul on it because it's fucking Magpul, right? Um, but you don't. Magpul is personal choice. It's Gucci. You don't need it. You you don't need an, uh, an AFG. You don't need uh, CTR stock. You don't need P mags. The the supplied high cap mags are more than adequate. This is just my personal choice. I don't like the rattling. So um, you know, 140 pounds or even less in some places. You've got a really, really good AED, which is really more than a match for something that costs two or three times as much. And that brings me to the last item, get a sling. Um, a lot of people think that you need a sling only if you're using a sidearm, which is understandable. You want to sling or shoulder your weapon um, when you're drawing a sidearm, so it's not getting in the way. But even if you haven't got a sidearm, get a sling. The reason for that is, like I've mentioned before, airsoft sites are um, often consisting of rubble, derelict buildings, walls. You don't want to be trying to hold onto this in one hand whilst traversing a pile of rubble or uh, moving through a hole in the wall with just one hand. Get a sling on this, put it on your back so you have two hands free uh, to do whatever you need to do to get from A to B and then get it back in your hands and continue the fight. Like I've said, don't end your day in a hospital. You want to have a good time, you want to go home at the end of the day and live to fight again. Anyway, I hope this helps. Any comments, um, questions, abuse, leave in the comments section. Um, thanks for watching.